Week 15 of the fantasy football season, and his running back starts it this week. The first start, B. John Robinson of the Atlanta Falcons. So, B. John Robinson, what a game it was for him in Week 14's game and a tough loss versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So, this week, a good matchup at the Carolina Panthers, one of the worst teams against the run in the league, and the worst team in the league, 1 in 12 on the season. So, B. John's workload's been going up over the last few weeks. We know he's still one of the, he's already one of the better receiving backs out of the backfield, and this week at the Panthers, He's a start. The next star, Kyron Williams of Los Angeles Rams. So Kyron Williams, what a season it's been for him. I know he missed four games with the injury early in the year, but he's been back now for three weeks, and he's putting up fantasy points weekly is Kyron Williams. So one of the best running backs this season in fantasy football. Another great matchup coming up this week versus the Washington Commanders that can't stop anyone. And Kyron Williams as well has opened up this passing game for this Ram team and is a decent receiver out of the backfield. So once again, what a good matchup. He's a start. Next start, Javante. Williams of the Denver Broncos. Javante Williams, he's having a solid season after coming off the ACO last year. And this week, it could be a matchup that could go either way for Williams, honestly, though. Detroit, if they get off to a good start in this Saturday ball game, is the Detroit Lion team. Then Javante Williams, we won't see him in as much where the passing downs back is P. Ryan and Julia McLaughlin. But if this game's a close game throughout, Javante Williams is the first and second down back in between the tackles not that bad of a receiver out of the backfield as well if they really need him to and this week in a matchup at the lions that have struggled against the run for the last few weeks here he's at next starts david montgomery yeah but we know this bronco team gives up the second most fantasy points to running backs on the season so montgomery a big physical running back catch the ball out of the backfield a little bit and for the most part he's been getting the goal line touches for this detroit line team so this week with a good matchup and a big game saturday for this line team with denver coming to town he's a start the next start jalen warren of the pittsburgh steelers so i know warren the last couple weeks the numbers haven't been up to par but he's still the more explosive running back in the backfield in my opinion but between to him and Najee harris is jalen warren we know He's got explosiveness as well and could catch the football. And this week in a good matchup versus the Indianapolis Colts where their defense isn't all that great versus the run this season. We just saw Joe Mixon go for a big game and Chase Brown, their backup running back. I think Jalen Warren indoors, not after dealing with the weather elements, has a bounce back week. Next starts Brian Robinson of the Commanders. I know Robinson, he left the ball game a couple weeks ago with the hamstring injury, but I believe he'll be back in this one at the Los Angeles Rams. And Brian Robinson, a big physical back. He's been getting better over the last few weeks as well, earlier in the year, with a 100-yard game receiving the football. So Sam Howell and him have a good connection, and pretty much they're the two anchors of this offense over there for this commander team. Terry McLaurin's having a down year. Logan Thomas, he got off to a good start. He's done much over the last few weeks. And Brian Robinson, he's been the goal line touchdown guy, and also majority of the touches in between the tackles with Gibson being more the passing down back. So he's a start in the final start, Raheem Mostert. Of the Miami Dolphins, so Raheem Mostert, he had a great game a few weeks ago versus this New York Jet team on Black Friday. And once again, I think here with the Dolphins at home, Raheem Mostert has a good ball game. We know he's a good running back. He fits his Mike McDaniel offense like a glove in between the tackles, catching some passes out of the backfield. I know Devon Aiken is back as well and playing good football, but Raheem Mostert and Aiken, it doesn't matter. Both these guys have been putting up fantasy points. And Mostert to start this week now to the sits, Kareem Hunt. Of the Cleveland Browns to so Kareem Hunt. He really hasn't been that good of a season in his return to Cleveland. After all off season, no one really signed him and he wanted a nice contract and he got it once Nick Chubb was out signing a one year deal. But right now, this week, a tougher matchup versus the Bears, believe it or not. Where they've been pretty good against the run for the most part is this bad team over the last few weeks. So with Hunt not doing much and Jerome Ford, the better back, in my opinion, he's a sit. The next hit, Devin Singletary of the Houston Texans so the last couple weeks the numbers have dropped off for Singletary I know last week he found the end zone at the New York Jets but besides that he really wasn't putting up much fantasy points and he's versing the Tennessee Titans a team that stops the run but you could pass on them all day so we've seen running backs the last few weeks not really do anything versus Tennessee defense and to go in there at Tennessee and run the football effectively is pretty tough so this week Singletary with his workload dropping off a little bit and the numbers not being great and a tougher matchup he's a sit the next hit james connor of the arizona cardinals so this week a tough matchup for james connor and this cardinal team and connor we know he had a monster game week 13 before going on by for this cardinal team with the nice victory at the steel was his former team but this week with the 49 is coming to town and we know they're one of the best run defenses and defenses overall in the league i think this 49er team is going to shut down james connor in this run game 
have Kyler Murray try to beat them with limited weapons on the outside. Pretty much Hollywood Brown and Trey McBride, the only guys in the passing game for this team. And James Conner, the games he returned before that Steeler game, wasn't doing much with single-digit fantasy points. Three games in a row before finally breaking out at Pittsburgh sees this hit. The next hit, Kenneth Walker. Of the Seattle Seahawks are pretty much Kenneth Walker. He's lost a lot of work over there in the last few weeks with injuries. And Zach Charbonnet playing pretty good football where it's at a point almost a 50-50 split between these two running backs. So Kenneth Walker we know is an explosive running back. We know he is a home run hitter as well. But some weeks he don't show up. And this week in a tough matchup versus the Philadelphia Eagles. One of the better run defenses in the league. I just can't trust Kenneth Walker. Like I said, numbers have gone down. And... The run defense is good for Philly, and Zach Charbonnet's taking a decent amount of work. So Kenneth Walker, a sit for me this week. The next sit, Gus Edwards of the Baltimore Ravens. So Gus Edwards, I've been saying this for weeks. He's been a touchdown-dependent running back, and if he's not scoring the touchdown, he's really not doing much, is Gus Edwards. So this week here, in a tougher matchup at the Jacksonville Jaguars, where their run defense, for the most part, has been stout this season. He's a sit, and we're Keaton Mitchell working into the offense more. And I've said this a lot in my videos as well. Rookie running backs, or younger running backs, if the bye weeks, they're more into the game plan. If they had a decent role starting with, with an offense. So that's been the case with Keaton Mitchell working into Gus Edwards' workload and him being more of an explosive back anyway. The next hit, A.J. Dillon of the Green Bay Packers. So A.J. Dillon, I know he's been the starter majority of the season. Aaron Jones just can't get out of his way. And he's been banged up all season. But A.J. Dillon, not really much of a ceiling for him. 10, 15 fantasy points. At most in PPR leagues. And this week I know it's a good matchup on paper. Versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But I believe Aaron Jones could return this week finally. After a nagging hamstring injury all season. But anyway AJ Dillon. Like I said not much of a ceiling for him. Not that great of a running back in between the tackles. In yards per carry. And he's a sit and the final sit. Zach Morris of the Indianapolis Colts. Even if once again Jonathan Taylor's out in this game. Even though there's a good possibility he could return. I don't think Zach Morris is really going to do much. In this ball game, and most the last two weeks, he had opportunities to have good fantasy days, and it really wasn't doing much in terms of yards per carry or catching the football out of the backfield. So this week, in a tougher matchup versus solid defense of the Pittsburgh Steelers, even though Ezekiel Elliott had a nice game versus them last week, he's a sit. So that's running back start sits for Week 15 of the fantasy football season.